Undiscovered 20. What's your favorite Resident Evil game? I've already covered this. Who's your favorite characters from Resident Evil? What? Okay, favorite characters from um, Resident Evil? That would be... Uh, my favorite characters in no particular in game order would be Rebecca, Jill, um, who was in two? Claire. Um, Claire and Sherry, because I really like Sherry too. Um, then, Car I really liked Carlos's character. So, I have to give Carlos and Nemesis a big pat on the back for being there in three. Um, then I have... Okay, I'm trying to think of what kind of... Okay, four. I'll do four, because technically I've already covered them. My favorite characters in, uh... Code Veronica are Claire and Steve. But I also really liked Alexia. I know I haven't mentioned Wesker. There's a reason for that. Because Wesker's just so awesome that he dares not be mentioned in a favorite characters list. For if he is, he will come back to haunt you after he's been melted. Anyway. For, I really don't like Ashley, so I have to just say Leon for that one. Even though Leon wasn't played off that well either. Degeneration, I really liked Claire's being played off and generation. Didn't really like Angela because they didn't really need to give Leon another girl. Because technically Leon has five now if you include Fiona. Which not many people do. Well, a lot of people do tend to include Fiona. But I, I, I'm not going to support Leon with anyone. So, woohoo! Um, I really liked Ada in 4 too. Just because they gave her, you know, that whole I am better than you, or whatever air they gave her, and Louis was, Luis was done well too, um, and then five, I have to say, I hate Chris in five, I mean, he looks better, he's always looked good, but he looks better in five, but, uh, I really do love Sheva, I mean, she just looks so sexy in that tribal outfit, so, woohoo! Girls can watch boobies bounce too. Wahaha. <laughs> um, what's your favorite LP that you've done? Um, I don't really do favorites on my own work, but my favorite that I'm gonna enjoy the most is probably gonna be Xenosaga. Which hasn't been put out yet, so woohoo. Um and then it says peace, love ya. With love, Emma. One of your biggest fans. Oh, everybody says they're my biggest fans. I don't believe you all, because you're all bigger fans of somebody else, so, wahaha. <laughs> anyway, know-it-all, like the name. Are you a know-it-all if you're asking me this question, though? What is it that made you start LPing? I already answered that. What is the worst name for a game you can think of? That's actually pretty hard, because I wouldn't be able to answer that. Um, what is a bad name for a game? I couldn't tell you. Really, I couldn't. I mean, a bad, a bad game. A bad name for a game. I'd make so many people angry if I could say the one I really want to, but I won't. Because I know a lot, of, I mean, I know people love first person shooters, so I won't even go there. Because I just don't like first person shooters, so I would automatically think any name for them are stupid. So, um, I can't think of any that wouldn't offend people. <laughs> I do think that, um, they shouldn't have renamed Resident Evil because it made sense. Biohazard? Biohazard made sense. That's, okay, I can say worst renaming for a game. That, that'll make me happier. Fill the gen tack, the geni tack, or whatever. Um, coffee cup or teacup? Coffee cup or teacup? Hmm, I would say teacup because I don't really like coffee. Well, I love coffee, but teacup and, te 
teacup is inspiring elegance and it reminds me of a tea party. And being an EA fan, I would absolutely adore a tea party. With my stuffed animals, of course. None of you were invited. <laughs> with scones, and I'd be giving them my little stuffed animal scones and probably dressing up a cat or two. With little bow ties or hats. Yeah, you guys would never be invited. <laughs> Uh, you never know. I'd probably invite a few of you. But only those that actually talk to me. Oh, and you guys... Okay, subs, don't be afraid to talk to me. Don't be afraid. Sasha loves having subs talk to her. Unless it's something stupid. I, I mean, I don't think... I don't, I'm not gonna say, like, Lord Vega says, that half of his subs are stupid. Which, I would agree, almost. I just don't like stupid questions and stuff, so it's okay. Um, this might have not been Phil the Jenny's question, but I'll answer it as if it were. If you could be in a Final Fantasy game, which one would you be in, and what class and weapon would you be? That is easy. My God, is that an easy question? I would be in Final Fantasy twelve. What would? Oh, oh. What class? I wouldn't really have a class. I would have a race, but not a class. And that would be a Vera. And I would have a, um, weapon. Uh, da, da, da. my weapon would be a pole. Well, not a pole, but a, a spear. And it would be called the Rose Thorn. I, I'll post a picture with my character. Because I do have a character for Final Fantasy XII, so. Woohoo! And then, I don't know if this is his question either, because I think I just mashed all the questions at this point together, so... No, they're not mashed all together, but... This one's messed up, I think. And it says, How much ground would a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Catronatus couldn't say this the first time around. I, I made fun of her because she couldn't. But that's because she was going on me reading it to her, so... <laughs> I was seeing if she could keep up. Um, he would ground a lot of ground. The groundhog would ground a lot of ground. That's what would happen. Know it all. Again, since someone asked the first question, yeah. What inspired you to draw? I doodled. I doodled and decided, hey, I might actually have passable skill. So, that's why I draw. And usually I draw random stuff. Like, I think my current thing I'm drawing are a bunch of Pokemon. <laughs> because I drew a picture of Glaceon, and I'll put it there. Hmm, a question to Squasha. Marry me? I thought I was already married to you. God, Amy. Oh, Amy Lou 92 Sorry, I didn't name her. Gah, nah, I'm kidding. Um, why did you start LPing? I already answered the question. Don't worry about it. But I thought I was married to you at one point. Do we get a divorce at any point in our relationship? <laughs> If we did, you didn't tell me, Amy. Days of Day of Anarchy. If you could design on any animal or creature or monster, anything related in the gaming world, to become a wild animal in the real world, like a lion or an alligator, what would it be, and if you can, why? Okay, you uh, you probably haven't seen them yet in my, uh... Well, you probably have. But in my, uh my let's play of Final Fantasy 12 there is these uh these alligator things these crocodile ad alligator things that open their mouths and it they kind of like ha their the upper jaw is like split into two and it comes out like a triangle-ish like an opening pyramid head a pyramid or something pyramid head <laughs> Um, and I would want to get one of those. I would want to put those in real life, because those would make alligators more awesome. Those things scared me the first time I saw it. I was like, oh my god, what is that? Or a chocobo, because I really have a chocobo. I'd go out and take a picture, but it's kind of 1am, so I don't think I will, because he's probably sleeping. He's a rooster. It's a weird yellow rooster, and... He, he walks on, well, roosters walk on two legs, but he's just yellow all over, and I call him a chocobo. So, I'd probably bring a chocobo if I could, too. Nothing from any other genres or whatever. If I, if 
I believe if I, you know, came up with another one, I probably would put that in there. Probably Cerberus, though. I would put a Cerberus. Not Final Fantasy Cerberus, but, uh, Cerberus from, like, Devil May Cry or something. Probably put that in there, too. Tyru360. How much for the dog statue with the welcome sign? Not for sale. I love it too much. I'm actually the one that picked it out. My mom was like, why are you picking that out? And I was like, oh, because it's a dog and it's cute. She was like, you're a weirdo. And I was like, yeah, I know. Leave me alone. 